the weekend celebration. Uh, Timis Tuemizuna is joining me. Hello, everyone. Nice to be here. Yep, and uh, we just finished up Deal or No Deal, and I ended up winning with uh, with 232,000. And we, now we'll be playing Pressure Luck, the DVD game, in which I know Tim is going to be walking out with a bunch of whammies. <laughs> so we're going to pick a two-player game, and we're going to get started. Round one. Okay, here we go with round one. All right, Player so one, you ready? You I get to answer first for a shot at three spins, and then Tim gets to answer second spins. for a shot at one spin, and, it'll, and we'll do vice versa. Here we go. What do these devices the bulletproof the vest, the fire escape, vest, windshield vest, wipers, and life rafts have what in common? All save lives, all were invented by women, or both of the above. I am going to say... All save lives. All right, player two. Tim, what do you say? Alright. He agrees with me? Okay, folks, let's see how many spins you all scored for question number one. And... We both got it. One and one with the three. Let's see what happens now. Now over to Here we go with question two. So Tim, you get to answer first for a shot at three spins. Three big spins. So here is uh, here's the question, Tim. On average, how many people are airborne over the USA at any given hour? Sixteen hundred, sixteen thousand, or sixty-one thousand? I'm gonna guess a thousand. Sixteen hundred, you say? No, one thousand. One thousand six hundred. It's either six. No, it's it's either sixteen hundred, sixteen thousand, or sixty-one thousand. Oh, I'm sorry, sixteen hundred. Okay. Okay, player one. Now it's your turn. I'm gonna say sixteen thousand. I'm not too sure though, but I'm gonna try sixteen thousand. What was that? Right yeah. So. How did you all do? Let's check the result for question number two. Let's see. No one got it right. It was 61,000. Wow. Jeez. Okay, player well, one. Here's another yet. shot. Yeah. Three spins with your next question. All right. So I get to answer first now for a shot of three spins. So here we go. In which movie did Jack Nicholson say you can't handle the truth? The Witches of Eastwick, A Few Good Men, or As Good As It Gets? I think it was a few good men. All right, player two. Tim, what do you say? Spin, what's your answer? Okay. I'm gonna go to the same answer as you, Zach, because I don't think he was in a few good men. Yeah. My head spinning. Let's see how you scored on question three. And we're both right. One and one with All right. So that puts me up to six, and you go up to two. This is your next chance. So, uh, Get it right. here's the last question for round one. So, Tim, here's another shot at three spins for you. What these Which of these subatomic particles has a strictly negative, negative connotation? connotation? Electron, proton, or neutron? Uh, I'm going to say neutron. Neutron. Okay, player one, now it's your turn. I think it's neutron as well, so I'm going to say neutron. one spin. Let's check the score for question four. Hey, I'm a poet. Let's see how you did. No, it was none of us got it right. So let's move on. Huh. Guess what? They don't tell us what the answer is, but anyways. Least spins. So your first So Tim, since you got the least spins, you get to spin first. Watch out for that whammy. And I've got a two. So yes, you got two spins. Are you ready to press your luck, Tim? Yep. Here we go! Let me know when to stop. Stop, stop at a color TV. Get in and watch Press Your Luck on your new TV set. Nice. In full color. This prize is valued at $1,750. All right. $1,750 worth. All right, do you want to spin or pass? Here's your score. Oh, take last spin. All right, he's going to take the last spin. Here we go. Stop! Stop! At a whammy! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alright, one whammy for Tim, and he finishes off with, uh, round one with no money and a whammy. Okay, player one, it's your turn. Alright, I've got a. I've got six spins, so here we go. Stop! A whammy! Away! 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, bad luck, player one. That's your first. So now I've got my first whammy. How do you like me now? <laughs> Five spins. Stop. Five hundred. All right. Hey, good spin. Well, you left out your side. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> All right. Here's your score. Now I've got $500, I've got four spins now, and I'm going to press my luck. Stop! All right, across the board, so I get $1,250. So now I'm up to $1,750. This is where Tim, Tim was until he got that nasty whammy. So I'm gonna spin. Stop! Ooh, move one space to 250 in a spin or 750. I'm gonna take 750. So now I've got 2,500. So I think I'm gonna dump those two remaining spins on Tim. Player two, you are up next. All right, Tim. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $500 and one spin. Plus an extra spin. All right, so you still got two spins left. Pressure luck or pass. Here's your score, player two. All right. Oh yeah. Here we go. Stop at one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. One thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Here is your score, player two. All right. All right. You got one With spin. One spin, spin uh, pressure lucker pass. Miami, what's it going to be? Spin or you pass? You have your spin back, Zach. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, player one, it's your turn. All right. Come on, baby. And oh god, I'm so nervous. And stop. Two thousand dollars. All right. Thousand dollars. That's a good spin. Forty-five hundred dollars is what I finish off the round with. How much money do you have, Tim? I think I have like twenty-two. Okay. Are you ready for round two, Tim? All right. Three spins. These are the opening In which historic document do you find the words four score and seven years ago? I think, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Lincoln's Gettysburg address. For a chance to win one spin. And Tim, what is your answer? Welcome to Pennsylvania. I'll take that answer too. All right. Pretty easy first question. That's it for the first question of round two. Now, let's see how many spins you've managed to pick up. All right, and we both got it right. With the one and one with the three. Let's see what happens now. Here we go with question number two. Tim, here is your shot at three spins. those very important three spins. Here we go, Tim. Which is the most common first letter found in pop song titles? You, I, or we? I'm going to go with you. You. I'm gonna say I. So I said uh, I said I, and Tim said you, and Tim got it. Or no, I got it right. Moving right along. So it was I. Here's your next question. So now I'm at the four, and Tim's still got nothing. Or no, he's got one. Yeah. All right. Next question. <laughs> This line is in All the doors I closed on time will open up again is a line from which song? Back in the High Life by Steve Winwood, Good Golly Miss Molly by Little Richard, or Every Day by Buddy Holly? I'm going to say Every Day by Buddy Holly. And Tim, what is your answer? I'll go with yours. All right. I honestly have no idea what it is, so you may be screwed as well. <laughs> and... Nope, it was not right. Maybe it was... Yeah. Round two, question two, player two. It's all the twos. A right answer scores you two big spit. I mean, three spit. <laughs> God, Todd. All right, last question of round two. Which make of 60s convertible does Nick Nolte drive in the movie 48 Hours? Corvette, Chevy, or Cadillac? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to say Cadillac. All right. Player one, you paying attention? Your chance to answer that um, question now for one spin. Let's see. I'm gonna say Corvette. I'm not too sure. I haven't. I think I've only seen parts of this movie. How did we all do that time? Let's do Maybe a catalog. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna say Corvette. 
And Tim is right, so he gets three spins. Alright. So I've got the least amount of spins. So I get to spin first. So I have a total of four spins, so let's go. And stop! Two thousand dollars again. You stopped on two thousand dollars. Oh, Martin really making more money. Sixty-five hundred dollars. Player one. I'm gonna go again. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Stop. Four thousand dollars. You picked up a big four thousand. Oh man. Oh. Score, player one. All right, ten thousand five hundred. I'm gonna pass. Player two. So, uh, so Tim. You've got two spins to take, so here comes your first one. Stop! Stop! At move one Stop. space to fifteen hundred in a spin, or thirty-five hundred dollars. Uh, give me the thirty-five hundred. Taking the thirty-five hundred, so that puts him up to five thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. He's still got one more spin to take, so here we go. Stop! Stop! At two thousand dollars. You've now, you still have now. Now you have four spins in the earn column. You have to seven thousand seven fifty. You trail me by about three thousand dollars. Spinner, sp you're gonna go. All right, here we go. Stop at two thousand dollars again, and that puts you up to nine thousand seven fifty. You are just right behind me, uh, less than three hundred dollars. Let's spin. You're gonna spin. Here we go. Stop at four thousand dollars. Oh man, thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Spin you are ahead by about three thousand dollars. Pressure Lucker pass. You're gonna go one more. Here we go. Stop at twenty five hundred dollars. And that puts you up to sixteen thousand two fifty. What are you gonna do, Tim? Player two. What do I got you by now? Uh, I think you're ahead by about six thousand dollars. All right, you're gonna pass it to me. Okay, player one, it's your turn. All right, here I go. Maybe redemption. Stop. Four thousand dollars. All right. So you're you're still in the lead by about a, uh, by about a little bit uh, more than two thousand dollars. You're up by two thousand two fifty, I think. So it is down to the final round, round three. All right, so now Tim is in the lead, so this is a very good match so far. So here's my, uh, here, here's the question, I get a shot of three spins for the first answer. The larval stage of a butterfly is commonly known as a what? Caterpillar, moth, or pupa? I, I'm pretty sure it's a pupa. All right. Tim thinks it's pupa. <laughs> Let's see how many spins you scored for question one. Oh, what? Oh, oh maybe it was Caterpillar. Your turn first. I feel like such an idiot for not knowing that. You've hit a triple. Three beautiful. Sorry, guys. If on the camera, it looks like Todd has like a big sunburn. Anyways, all right, Tim. Here's the next question. Approximately, how much does the human brain weigh? 2.5 pounds, 1.5 pounds, or 10 ounces? 1.5 pounds. All right, you say 1.5 pounds. Let's have your answer for a chance to win a spin. All right, and I'm going to give my answer when we come back.